Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is part 4 of the Windows 10 install process. So now we have the um, region. Let's start with the region. Which region do you want to use? Of course it will follow the same one that you used when you tried your, to install with the keyboard. I chose Canada Multilingual so it wants to install Canada. Of course here you just choose a country you want to actually uh, choose and click next or yes. Of course it will continue on here with other installs. It of course will ask you for the keyboard layout. Do you want the one that you chose or do you want something else? So here I will choose once again Canada Multilingual. Click yes. It might ask you um, with Cortana as a voice and uh, basically, <laughs> yes, my cat wants to participate in the Windows install right now. You can add other layouts if you want or just click skip button and let it do its thing. So, of course, this is part of the install process that goes on within Windows uh, 10. And this is the first part. We'll continue with the rest and the, um, oops, we got more here, sorry. Let's connect to a network, of course. So you can choose from the list, of course, of one of the networks that you have. Depending on the machine you have, it will choose different networks. So you will choose one. It will, of course, ask you to connect. It will ask you for the key. So you, of course, will enter the key. And of course, once it is, you click next. It will verify and try to connect. If you enter the wrong key, it won't work. If it does, it's going to say connected and secured. And here you click the next button and let it continue to do some stuff. So this is what we have. So keyboard, language, country setup, and um, you know, setting up to your network. One uh, little thing here is that remember that if you're on a wire, a plugged in Ethernet cable, it of course will not ask you for any network information or Wi-Fi connectivity, of course, because you're connected with a cable. So now it will restart and of course we will continue with the install and the other information it's going to ask as we are, of course, doing this series of Windows 10 install using, of course, Windows 10 May 2019 update. Hope you enjoy the videos.